Hello everyone. Now let us discuss about the linear separability. So in the binary classification, we already know that suppose if I just plot a graph for a various data point like this, for example, I have this red uh, data point circles like this. I also have this uh, blue minus sign, different uh, data points, right? So I can create a decision boundary in such a way that both the classes are linearly separable like this. So this is what a linear separable classification because I can separate these two class by a single straight line here. Okay. So that is what linear separability. Same thing if I say I have the binary classification problem. But in that case, if you observe, I have this red data points, then I have this blue data point like this. In that scenario, if you observe, I cannot draw a straight line to separate uh, this two particular class, right? So what I can do, I can I can simply do like this. Okay, I can draw a curve like this. So this is basically a curve. So this is not an example of linear separability. This is an example of linear separable. And this is an example of non-linear separable. Okay. I can separate these two classes or I can distinguish two, these two classes by using this uh, curve. So this is basically an example of non-linear separable. And I can classify or distinguish these two particular classes by using a straight line. So this is what linear separable is. Okay. Simple example. Now, the goal of the supervised classification is to construct the decision boundary, right? The classification algorithm, we want to construct a decision boundary so that we can separate the two classes, right? Such that two classes can be maximally separated. So, this is basically a hyperplane. Hyperplane, right? Here we are talking about the two dimension. That's why I'm considering it as a line. But here, if we talk about the three dimensional, that is basically hyperplane. So I can separate this yellow and red data point by using this particular hyperplane. So this is an example of linear separable. Okay. Now for this, we can use different technique. We can apply logistic regression. Okay. We can use logistic regression here for linear separable. Also SVM with a linear kernel. The main important thing is that linear separable, right? If my data points are linearly separable, that is S, then I can apply LDA, that is linear discriminative analysis. I can perform LDA on this particular uh, data point. But if this is not a linear separable, that is no, then I can then I can do feature extraction and for this particular purpose, we use principal component analysis, PCA. We already discussed this, right? So very, very important point. If I can construct a decision boundary in a such a way that both the classes are linear separable, then I can perform linear discriminant analysis on that. But if it is not a linear separable, then I can uh, do a principal component analysis for that to extract the features, right? So very, very important point to note here. But I hope you understand the concept of linear separability. Simple thing is that in the case of binary classification, I should be, I should be able to draw a straight line to classify the two classes or in the case of three dimensional, it will be a hyperplane. Okay. Now, what is linear separable? So, whatever we have discussed, just uh, mention it here. A data set is considered linear separable if there exists a hyperplane in two dimensions that is basically a line. Okay. So, that can be perfectly separate the classes of data points. In other words, you can simply draw a straight line or hyperplane in three dimensional to divide that point from one classes to another classes without any misclassification. So, this is a perfect example of linear separable. What is the characteristic of this particular thing? Single decision boundary. The classification can be achieved with a single line or hyperplane. And we can apply the algorithms like logistic regression 
SVM that is linear kernel and perceptron are well suited for linear separable data as well. Okay. So these are the few points that you need to remember. But what about the non-linear separable data? In the case of non-linear separable data, there is no straight line or hyperplane, right? That can be separate the classes. Instead, the classes are intermixed in a such a way that more complex boundary is required to achieve perfect classification. So, same thing what we have discussed earlier. What about the characteristics? Complex decision boundary. The decision boundary can be a curve or it can take on more complex shapes to separate the classes. So, this is regarding the non-linear separable classification, right? And for this purpose, we require advanced algorithms such as support vector machines with non-linear kernels, decision tree or I can say neural network are better suited for non-linear separable data, okay? I hope you understand the difference between linear separable and non-linear separable, okay? Now, there was one question in the gate DA24 exam, okay? DA24 exam. So, this is question number 53. This question is asked for 2 marks. So, here you can see a simple question was asked for 2 marks, right? Consider the following figures representing a data set consisting of 2 dimensional features with 2 classes denoted by circles and squares. So, 4 images are given to us and we need to find out which of the following is that true. First one is linear separable, second one, third one or fourth one. So, if you understand what we have discussed just now, you can easily solve this question. What about the first figure? Here I have a data point circle and square. So, I can draw a straight line between them. So, this can be my decision boundary. So, I can separate these two classes by a single a straight line. So, I can say one is linearly separable. So, option A is correct. But here is R true is, is or R is true. It means it is a MSQ question. Multiple options are possible. Okay. What about the second one? If you observe here, we have four squares and then we have a circle. I cannot draw a line here to separate these data points. I can simply draw a circle like this. So, this circle will become my decision boundary. Right, but this, but this is not a linear separable. So, figure number 2 is not linear separable. What about the figure number 3 here? Here also I have two data points square and here I have two circles. Can I draw a line here like this or like this? There is no possibility that if I draw a straight line, this two can be a linear separable. No, right? So, this is also not a linear separable. I cannot draw a straight line to separate uh, these two classes. Now, what about the option number 4 here? Same thing what we have discussed in the first. Here also I can draw a straight line like this. That will be my decision boundary to separate these two classes. So, 4 is also linear separable. So, the correct answer is A and D. That is both A and D are linear separable okay so whatever we have discussed in this particular video that will be enough to solve this type of question okay and what we have discussed about the linear separability if it is linear separable then we can apply a linear discriminative analysis lda but if it is not a linear separable then i can do a feature extraction that is basically a principal component analysis okay very very important thing please keep a note of this you can expect a one mark question based on this so that's it from this particular video thank you